here we have two colourless liquids, hexane and water, sorry that's hexane, that's water. Um, water extensively hydrogen bonded, hexane, van der Waals forces only. So when we mix them, if we're going to get them to mix, we will be breaking uh, relatively strong hydrogen bonds and breaking relatively weak van der Waals forces. But the bonds that will form between those two will only be van der Waals forces. Now that's therefore a net loss in energy uh, for this. This would be an endothermic process. And the energetics are the, the main thing in terms of determining sol solubility. So let's just see what happens when we mix the two. Give it a bit of a shake. And I think you can see, not particularly easily, let's put it a bit closer, there you go. You may well be able to see that there are two layers there. So it's not dissolving. I'll give it a good shake. Yeah, now you can see they're not mixing at all. So there's no way that we're going to get any interactions between hexane and water. Well, here's one that I've never done before. What I have here is hexane and hexane. Now, we will have, therefore, um, van der Waals forces in both of them, but the hexane will have some hydrogen bonding present there. Do they mix? Will it be possible for the van der Waals forces that we form between these molecules to overcome the, um, the energy involved in breaking the hydrogen bonds in the OH groups. Well, let's find out, shall we? If I mix the two. Well, look at that. Completely missable. So therefore, in this particular case, it looks like the van der Waals forces win out over the OH uh, hydrogen bonds. Interesting two colourless liquids once again. We have water here and an alcohol hexan one -ol. So this water extensively hydrogen bonded, the hexan one -ol is going to be a mixture. We're going to have uh, some hydrogen bonding between the OH groups, but we do have a very lo a relatively long chain, a six carbon chain alkyl group there, which will tend to uh, be uh, van der Waals forces. So in terms of the bonds breaking that we're going to have, we'll be breaking hydrogen bonds here in the water. We'll be breaking some hydrogen bonds in the hexane, but also van der Waals forces. The intermolecular forces that we're going to produce between the water and the hexane one -ol, well, we will have some uh, uh, hydrogen bonds, but we will also have some van der Waals forces. So it's a bit of a balance as to whether this one is going to be soluble or not. So let's mix them two together and you can see that we have our two layers looks like they're not very soluble let's give it a bit of a shake and just see what happens and you can see that we have a bit of an emulsion it's clearing a little bit now and you can see that they're not really soluble I suspect strongly that there is a reasonable amount of hexane one in uh, in the water, so it's so it's only sparingly soluble, and you certainly have a little bit of water in the hexane hexane one layer as well, but not that mixable, not that miscible. Two colourless liquids once again, you'll have to take my word for that it that, that is ethanol, that's water. Water, of course, has hydrogen bonding as its major intermolecular force, and ethanol also has hydrogen bonding between the OH groups. Um, so that is its pr predominant uh, intermolecular force. Let's just mix the two together, shall we? Uh, let's pour one into the other. There we go and you can see that they are completely miscible. Completely mixing because m moving the ethanol into water were breaking hydrogen bonds 
and were forming new hydrogen bonds. Here we have two colourless liquids, propanone and water. Now in terms of the intermolecular forces that we have here, water has hydrogen bonding extensively, propanone, dipole-dipole interactions. So when we mix the two, we will be breaking dipole-dipole interactions uh, with the uh, propanone and breaking hydrogen bonds with the water. And the interactions that we form between propanone and water will be hydrogen bonds. The net uh, effect, therefore, is that we have greater or stronger interactions forming than breaking. So therefore, they should mix. Well, let's see if they do. Yep, completely missable.